welcome back and this is part 23 of the invoice management system app okay we're almost there at the end and in this video we're gonna look at the jQuery and jQuery UI all right so the reason why we're doing this is this okay if you look at the original app we have this bar that keeps swinging in and out okay as I hover so we will be fixing this in few videos to come okay maybe the next video all right and also if i come to uh add a new invoice there's a button here okay i have only line one to line five if you want to add more lines i can click on hide so slash hide more lines you can see we have an additional five lines that way where we can add data okay and if i click on that button again it will be back to five lines so javascript is doing this for us now in order for us to do this we'll have to add javascript to our application okay in fact both javascript and jquery so that's what we're going to be adding to this application that we are building okay so i'm going to close the original app or the demo app and then we're gonna be looking at the four simple steps that I have for you right here. And the first one is to download jQuery. By the way, if you don't know, we have a Patreon page where you can go and support our work if you want to support us, okay? So all the codes, like in return, what we are giving you is the entire code of the application, okay? You're gonna have all the codes right here page by page but if you want to have the entire code all at once you just have to support us on patreon and you have the entire code right there waiting for you and don't forget to subscribe because we'll be giving you these kind of videos all the time okay so now the first step is to download jquery which i'm going to do right here so this is the file that i'm going to download download the compressed production jquery 360 okay that's what i'm going to take Okay, now if you click it on my browser, instead of downloading it, it will open it because it is a JS file and it understands that this is a text file. So it opens it right on the browser. To be able to save it, I'm just gonna right click and then say save as. I'm gonna navigate to where I have my JS files. Let me show you why I'm gonna save this. Now, if I open the project in the Sublime application or the text editor, if I scroll into the static like if i let me just um close all these and then start expanding them in the application invoice management app you have this folder that we created a few videos ago if i expand static you will see css img and js so right in js is where i'm gonna save this file okay so now that you know that i'm gonna go to that folder that is a static js and then save it right here I'm gonna maintain the same name. It's good to maintain the version of the JavaScript or the jQuery that you're using so that if there is any vulnerability, you will know exactly whether that affects you or not. So I always maintain the version number right there. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. And you can see it is saved right in here. And if I click it, this is the file okay it is a compressed file so we don't have anything to do with it i'm just gonna close it and then move to step number two all right now at step number two we need to download jquery ui all right so jquery ui is the one that do, does the fun stuff with just few lines of code you can do almost the same with the javascript but J jquery helps you do it with just few lines of code and it depends on JavaScript to be able to do all that. So we've had the JavaScript into application, not yet configured, but right there as a file. All right, now I'm gonna click on this link and download jQuery UI as well. Right here on the right side, I'm gonna download the stable version 1.12.1, okay? That's what I'm gonna download. Great, now, that is downloaded. I'm gonna open it right here. 
cut it and then move it to um yeah i'm gonna move it to the folder where do i have that folder it is right here in the source folder the invoice mgmt okay and the static folder right in js where i paste or where i downloaded the the jquery file or yeah jquery file i'm gonna paste this one also right here all right now i'm gonna expand it or extract it okay and then delete this file because i don't want to keep all those files in there when i don't need them so if we open you have um jquery ui.min.js which is the same as uh, jquery ui but this is a compressed version of it okay you also have jquery ui.structures.css okay we have uh, jquery ui.structures.min.css these two files are also the same so any file with the main.js it has been compressed okay you might see the files twice one will have the main.js and one will not have it so if you want to have a control over this jquery ui you might want to use this because you can go in there see the code understand it and start doing your own tweaks but that is not recommended you will want to have your own js file where you'll be doing the codes okay that's what we're going to be doing on this um videos okay or on this tutorial now since i extracted this right here i'm going to move to the next step i'm going to close this and then copy this code now i'm going to explain this part let me just paste it in the file that i want to start using it now in the entry file right here okay this is the file that this is the uh, template where i will need to start using javascript okay i want to have a button right here that will um, show me the line one sorry line five or line six all the way down to line 10 so i will need to do some javascript actions on this page so i'm gonna paste that code on here in the header is where i'm gonna paste it so right below the js file or the css file that we created in a few videos ago i'm gonna um, indent this in and now these are the files that we are referencing just like what we did when we we're doing our css integration okay now in static you have a folder called um, js jkui does one does one two dot one slash jkui dot mean dot js you have another one called jkui dot mean dot structure oh sorry jkui dot structure dot mean dot css jkui dot theme dot mean dot js we also have a file called jkui three six zero mean dot js likewise this and we're gonna make this okay this is gonna be our file where we'll be writing our own javascript file okay so these are the files that i'm referencing okay these are the files that i'm referencing i'm not referencing everything like this one i'm, I'm choosing the, the main.css and the main.js files for each of the categories now i'm gonna save this okay before i save it i want to show you how you know that these files are loaded into your browser now if i right click and click inspect i'm gonna go to network and i'm gonna hold down control and click refresh you can see right here none of the files are showing up okay so this is not linking to any of the files now if i save this okay i saved it and i click control refresh again you can see we've um pulled jquery 3.6.0.min.js jquery ui.js and this file is not known so it is marked red with a 404 error okay now this is expected because we've not created this file yet but it is good news that we've gotten all these um js files great now that is how you know that your js files have been called and they are found or not found now the next step is to create the js myjs.js file 
okay so i'm gonna come right here inside the js folder i'm gonna right click and say new file i'm gonna save it as myjs.js and click save so i'm gonna go back there and click control i'm gonna hold down control and click refresh again boom you can see now all the three files have been found so this is good news okay now to test if javascript is actually working we want to do this i want to do an alert on the page okay so right here on that file this is where we'll be writing our javascript files the one that will be doing animation for us but we'll not be doing that in this video hopefully in the next video so I'm gonna save it and then do a refresh here on the app I'm gonna do control and refresh boom you can see we have an alert going up okay and that is the code right here and in a JavaScript or jQuery to run jQuery codes you're gonna put them in a document that ready function okay this is the function and within that function is we're gonna write your jQuery UI or jQuery um, codes right so all our jQuery codes will be written in here good now now that this file is loaded or this alert is coming up we are now set to do our animations on this application and we'll be doing that on the next video i hope you found this video informative don't forget to check out our patreon page and subscribe to this channel like the video leave your comments if you have any questions see you in the next video